Okay, so uh, today we are going to tackle the replacement of a wheelbarrow wheel. It's going to be very exciting. Um, this one here is uh, completely DOA, as you can kind of see here. Um, definitely done, flat as your hat. And so we are going to take that one off and install it with, uh, with this new one. Uh, so that's going to be the... That's going to be the job for today. So, uh, hey, let's get after it. Okay, so first step in this process is to uh, loosen off these uh, these brackets here, which is holding on the uh, holding on the axle right here. So that's the first step. And so we're just going to take these uh, take these nuts off and uh, get her off. Okay, well, I've decided to switch gears a little bit and I'm going to take one side entirely off. I think that'll just make the job that little bit easier. Uh, so we're going to do that. Get this off of here. And that lets our wheel come right out. So as you notice on here, now this wheel's been replaced a bunch of times before. Uh, this wheelbarrow uh, was actually my dad's. It's been in the family for, well, I know he bought it in uh, 1981. So it's uh, it's been around a long time here. And these spacers are not original. So I'm not sure if we're gonna reuse those or do something different. Um, but we're gonna put on a completely different tire this today. So we'll take the shaft out of here. And uh, yeah. Okay, I've got that out, and uh, yeah, now I'll grab the other tire, and uh, I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so this is the tire that we're going to install. Um, it is a uh, flat-free tire uh, made, um, made, by, oh, made by a company called High Run, flat-free 16-inch wheelbarrow tire. It says 16, but I think it's really more like 15 and a half. I measured it, but whatever. You know, you're gonna have to measure your own wheelbarrow tire to make sure you get the right size, just simply because from your from your shaft to the, uh, you know, to your wheelbarrow, it's gonna need to be able to fit in that space without actually bottoming out. So that's really quite a critical measurement. So be sure and uh, be sure and do that measurement before you buy the right tire for your unit. Now I picked this one up uh, at a uh, at a, at uh, Princess Auto for uh, Canadians. will be very familiar with Princess Auto for anybody in the U.S. You probably have no idea what I'm talking about, but Princess Auto is kind of like um, Harbor Freight in the U.S., but just a ton better, way way better. So it's a store kind of like that. They have a little bit of everything: farm stuff, machinery stuff all kinds of stuff. In fact, if you're coming to visit Canada and you're from the U.S., definitely stop off at Princess Auto. You'll thank me for it. It's a great shop. So anyways, that's where I got this this uh, this flat free tire and hopefully because it's flat free probably means that I don't have to replace this for hopefully a good long time. So that's what the dream is. That's what the hope is. So um, yeah, let's get back at her. Okay, so um, got the packaging off the tire. Very exciting. Did not film that. Um, what I'm going to do now is just a basic test fit. So we're just going to take the old shaft, put it in, make sure it's the right diameter. It's 5 8 and sure enough, it's the right diameter, so that's good. I'm just going to go and test fit this just again to make sure that our wheel will spin because it would really be a downer to do all this work and find out that it bottoms out on the, on the bottom of the wheelbarrow here or something else and doesn't work. So uh, yeah, that is going to work. Now what I'm going to do before I put it back together again, just because it's very little effort, is I'm actually going to go in the workshop and clean up the axle shaft here. Just, you know, not that it matters too much. Those are bearings on there, so it doesn't really matter too much, but just for the heck of it, I'm just going to wire wheel that thing. So let's go Okay, so we've moved the operation into the workshop. We're just going to take the wire wheel here and uh, go and actually you know, just take the crap off of this uh, off of this axle shaft. So that's going to be the process. So let me just plug this puppy in. Okay, 
you can see that's uh, coming along pretty darn good. We're just going to finish that up. And uh, I'm not going to film the rest of it because it's probably very boring for you to watch. So I'm just going to stop it right there. And I'll okay, so we're done. just about to go and put the whole thing back together again. And just before I do, I'm actually going to use some fluid film. This is great stuff for two purposes. One, uh, to spray on that axle shaft a little bit. Now, it's got sealed bearings. This axle shaft isn't really necessary for it to run nice and smooth because it's got the sealed bearings inside the wheel. However, I don't really want this to go and rust up again or not rust too much. Also, just this will also provide a modest amount of lubrication as well. I mean, I guess a person could paint this as well, but I don't know. I'm just using fluid film. So that's what I'm doing. There's always uh, different ways of doing stuff. So I've had really good success with this stuff and it is amazing. You'll be surprised at how well this stuff works. So I'm just gonna take that and uh, stick it through our tire. Uh, we're going to use the old, old ugly spacers that I had just because I see that they probably are going to work best for this application. And uh, stick her back in here. So, okay, get her into the brackets. Okay, so that's just kind of in there pro tem until we get the bolt back in. Uh, just to kind of test her out. Make sure that's in there. Yeah, good. Give her a wheel, a spin. Yeah, it's all going to be good. So, this is just a U bolt, U fork. Is it a U bolt? I think this is sort of kind of. This actually seems to jog my memory that 20 years ago I made this because I think the old one broke and this one still looks like it's going to work. And essentially, the way it goes is it just, it really only screws on bolts on at one end, but there's two holes here. There's two holes right there, and it goes through both sides. That's why it does what it does. So put that in there. Got the hammer. I'm always got to go through this uh, bracket at the bottom as well for some stability. Grab a trusty hammer. That's always good. And uh, oh, I see. Gotta get her in the hole first. Always a good idea to get her in the hole before you hammer. Let me take a little bit of encouragement. Kind of like that. Kind of like that. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to tighten the whole thing up. So I'm going to put on uh, put on our nuts and washers. This thing all tightened up. I don't know why I had that many washers on there before, but I imagine there must have been a reason. So we're just going to do her again. I'm not going to overthink this. This is just a wheelbarrow after all. And. Uh, this uh, tightened up. A wrench would probably be handy at this point. Okay, so I am going to just tight start tightening this up here. Grab the wrench. And if you recall, I loosened it on both sides. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to tighten it over here. And we're going to have to tighten it up here to get the thing cinched right up. So that's going to be the process here uh, going forward. So Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to pause the video there. Uh, and I'll come back to you as I'm just finishing up the tightening process. Okay, so this last bit is really sped up. Uh, I decided I would actually uh, go and grease up the wheel. It's not a sealed bearing. It's got a grease fitting, so I greased her up here and I put a few shots of grease in it. And then, of course, I gave it a little test around the yard. So, hope everybody enjoyed this one and hope it helps you out just a little bit. Uh, please remember to like and subscribe and uh, all that good stuff. And please leave a comment. I love all the comments. In fact, uh, I will reply to each and every one of them. So thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good one.